up here from Cryptic X Games, and um, lately I've been working on uh, Minecraft as usual. You know, that's all I've been doing in the StarCraft video. But um, I've been really focusing more on Redstone, and my friends, including Gapshot, have been trying to tell me that I should create a start creating a, a Redstone tutorial for you guys and um finally i've s decided that that might actually be a good idea so um even though i'm a creative because i don't feel like trying to make all this stuff or i don't and i don't have too many items i don't have that mod so um although i'm in creative i'll i can still do it okay so basically we start from square one this i got out my texture my new texture pack so you guys can see this if you use the default this is redstone ore. Redstone ore is how you get redstone wiring or the redstone in general. This is how you start off with redstone. You can destroy the redstone ore with an iron pickaxe or a diamond pickaxe. Obviously diamond's quicker and more efficient, but iron works as well. Now, if you try to put redstone on glass it will not work um i don't know why it won't work but it just won't see look i can put it everywhere else but it will not work which i don't know why but um yeah let's do it as you can see these right here are basically what we use for redstone in general A redstone torch the main power source of, a re of how to turn redstone on. This doesn't turn off unless you get a lever. Lever, lever, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I call it lever and lever from time to time, so don't get mad if I call it either or. It doesn't matter. Just like water and water, how I say water. But anyway, you don't turn it off. You can't, you can't really turn it off at all. I'll get a lever and show you. Did I just throw it down? I'm real mad. Okay. So, you see, you can't turn it off from the ground to ground. I don't understand why. But when you put it, say, a redstone torch on top of something, and then you put the lever like that, it turns off. On and off. Same thing you can do for redstone torches such as this. As long as it's connected somehow. It, you can turn it on and off but you see here the redstone wiring takes up the power from the from the redstone torch for the lever to be able to actually control where whether the torch torch turns on and off so yeah you can do it from anything so I'll leave that on um redstone wire is that that's how you basically connect things from redstone torches or from levers to each other and get the redstones redstone circulating and finally uh, this is something new I mean it's not really new because it's been in the game for a while but um it's a redstone repeater it helps you make in inversions and stuff like that so you don't have to like use redstone torches as much sometimes redstone torches are just as efficient and sometimes they're better but redstone repeaters are great too um the reason why for the reason why this is great is because as you can see i can move the torches back and forth from each other that's the quickest to the slowest you can you can delay the time it's like a delaying system you delay the time of the of how fast the redstone uh circulation goes through the redstone repeater so after that, oh, what a nice fighter. This has still always been in Minecraft. Um, you see these? If you put water down, they get destroyed no matter what. I don't know why. It kind of makes sense. It kind of doesn't make sense at the same time. But I'm not complaining. Um, uh, I hope you guys like the my little... Uh, my little um sign designed to to show you guys it helps me stay on track but um from this 
torch onwards with the redstone wiring and it stops here you can tell because it's still lit up a little bit but this is dead redstone right here the max for dead for uh one redstone torch to go all the way down there is 15 blocks you cannot go 16 blocks and you can't you can go from 15 to lower but 15 is the max redstone um you can actually circulate or have on at one time unless you have another one connected or redstone repeaters I think but the redstone repeater would have to be closer up here I believe no I'll do whatever it is later. Um, let me go to sleep real fast. But sorry, I was doing it in the dark. I was just trying to tell you guys that. Okay, it's daytime now. So yeah, this is the pure basics of redstone. From the redstone ore, from it not being able to go on glass, how redstone torches work. I haven't showed you guys how it fully works yet, but it will be in later episodes. What redstone wiring is, what redstone repeaters are and do, and what they can do to the time of timing of the redstone, and also how far uh, the circulation of the redstone can go. I call it circulation. I don't know what you would call it. I can't think of another word. How far the power of the redstone torch would go, I guess you could say. 15 blocks maximum. Um... So thanks guys for watching my first tutorial on redstone, redstoning, redstone, redstoning, redstoning, my redstoning tutorial. Um, there's going to be plenty more episodes. I have so much got to show you guys and I can't wait either. So um, in the meantime, thanks for watching again. Double or nothing, thanks. So um, yeah. Uh, Pola Cola uh, saying thank you again for watching for the third time um, and keep watching as well. Okay guys, see ya.